Well, that's the Stranglers' new single, which is currently riding at number seven in the charts, and I'm sure it's going to do a lot better again next week. And with me in the studio is Hugh, Hugh Cornwall. Hugh, thanks for popping in and seeing us. Okay. Uh, I'd like to start off asking you a little thing about... Um, I remember reading somewhere that you was looking for a strange little girl to appear in the video. Obviously, you found her. How did it all, all that come about? Um, well, the director of the film play, uh, made a handout, which he handed out in lots of clubs in London. Mm. And um, it was very difficult to find a girl that was prepared to undergo this physical change, get that amazing haircut. Yeah. Because uh, we didn't want to stage it, we wanted someone to actually have it done to them. And uh, we found a girl that, that was, you know, ready to do ready it. Ready to do it. That yeah. must have been great, actually. Yeah, yeah. she yeah. was very good. Um, now, getting back to the music side and all that, do you actually do all the writing yourselves, or, or what happens there? Um, yeah, we all collaborate on the music. You all yeah. get together. Yeah. yeah. I see. Uh, also, one of the things I wanted to ask you is that. When you first started out, which was, when When was that? Um, well, we started in 74, but we didn't start recording until mm -hmm. 77. But, but you started out as sort of like a, a punk band, they said uh, at one time, but uh, why do you feel funny about that? Um, well, because we were going in 74 before any of that ever started, mm. and uh, we were very aggressive in our stance because the music business then was like a, a very closed door, it's like steel gates, and you had to really hit your head against it to break the doors down mm. and get any sort of get any uh, uh, recording interest mm. in, in there at all. It's totally different now, of course. Yeah. Also, as we said earlier on, or Eileen mentioned uh, on the introduction, she said about um, the last three uh, records from The Strangers have all been ballads. Now, to me, it seems that the music sort of mellowed down a little bit. Is there any particular reason for that? Uh, well, we've always had ballads on uh, all our rec all our LPs. It's just mm. that they've never been selected to be released as mm. singles. Mm. They seem a lot more commercial. Is that to, to you know get the chart success at all? Well, I don't know what the word com anything can be commercial. You know, I mean, um, there's a, a record at the moment of a dog barking. A song. <laughs> have you heard that? No, I don't think I have actually. Well, that's very commercial. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, there you go. Uh, what, what's in the pipeline now from the Strangers? What can we expect? Well, we've just moved record company. We've left uh, the Concrete Ear in Manchester Square, which is EMI. Right, yeah. Whose promotion <laughs> department... Concrete Ear, is that what that's they call what it? That's what they're called. <laughs> um, by employees, actually. Um, the promotion department is fantastic, but the rest of them can, can uh, whatever. do whatever they want. Right. But they're, they're cashing in on our, our success now by now, releasing... This is, this is to be released a when? ...a compilation album. Can you see that? There you uh, go. A, the collection, it's called, and the cover is not Keep Fit with Hazel O'Connor. <laughs> um, it's going to be scrapped, this cover, so this is a collector's item, actually. So Various different tracks of your your the big yeah, hits right, right from yeah. 77 to 82. Great. That's, so when's that for? In, in about I a month think it's or so. Coming out in a month. Yeah. Time, yeah. You was also saying something about uh, going in to do a new album as well in the future. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're going to Brussels in September to record our first stuff for CBS, mm. which is totally different again. What was the thing about the uh, solo albums you you did? Was there any sort of room about a breakup behind all that at all? Well, lots of people, do, they get the opportunity to book a recording studio and record, you know, suddenly you think, at last I've got a chance to do what mm. I want to do, you yeah. know, and do anything you like. And um, Just have a go at it. And you just have a go, you know, yeah. for a laugh, and yeah. uh, suddenly everyone says you're breaking yeah. up. And what about a tour? Can we expect a tour? I think uh, January next year. January next year. Okay, okay. I'm going to look forward to that, definitely. Okay. Thanks for popping in. Thank Thanks. you very much. Okay. Bye.